Hello everyone, this is Patty Behan and I want to thank you for joining me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute Easter cards using a paper weaving technique and colorizing some paper with Distress Oxide inks to make these fun strips to weave together. I'm also using Simon Hurley stamps and of course the Distress Oxides, so let's get started. To begin, I'm working on the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station and I also have the Ranger silicone mat on top. I like to use this as a work surface for when I'm painting with inks or blending inks over top of something. And I also have a piece of Simon Hurley stark white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna start by blending the salty ocean ink over the entire cardstock. And I'm using my mini ink blending tool with dome foam and I'll just colorize the whole piece of paper. And I wanted to mention that I use Distress Oxide inks because since it's a, this is an Easter card, I wanted to um, give it a pastel -y look and these were the perfect choice. Now next I'm gonna do picked raspberry and I'll repeat the same process and I'll ink up that foam and then go ahead and colorize the whole background. Once that's done, I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to use mustard seed this time. Same process, ink up the foam and then color the whole background. And I'm not going for like a perfect blend here. I'm just making sure I get color on the whole page. Okay. And now since that's done, I'm gonna cut these into strips. And I'm going to make them half inch strips and I'm going to cut the whole page. And when you get to the end, you're gonna have a strip that's um, about a quarter inch left over. Save that because we're gonna use that as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for every sheet of cardstock. Okay, and now since that's done, we're gonna start to weave them. And so I have another sheet of stark white cardstock cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to mark a half inch from the top and the bottom using a pencil. And I have the um, Wendy Vecchi Make Art Ruler to help me do that and I'm lining it up on the grid so that I know that it's straight. Okay, and now that's done. And now we're gonna cut little slits in the, between the lines here. And that again is going to be a half inch. So I'm lining up that part of the trimmer here with the line. And then when I get to the other line, I'm stopping there as well. And then we're gonna continue to do this for the rest of the page. And if you want, you can use a craft knife if, if you're more comfortable craft knife and a ruler when you do this, but I like to use the trimmer. Okay, now that's finished. And we can start weaving our strips. Simply just go over, under, over, under, and then pull it to the top. And then your next strip is under, over. So you alternate with the strips, and I'm alternating colors. You can do this in any pattern you want. 
and then just keep weaving the pieces until the whole card front is finished. Okay, and that looks like it's good. Let me just even things out a little bit here. Okay, and now I'm gonna erase the pencil lines. And uh, once that's done, we are going to glue down the, the ends. So I'm using some multi-medium here. It's a liquid glue that Ranger makes. And just glue down all the loose ends. And you just continue to glue down on the front. And when that's done, flip it over and trim it with scissors from the back so that you get a nice straight cut. And now we're ready to start some stamping. So I have um, a Simon Hurley stamp set and I'm gonna be using the Bunny and Hoppy Easter. And also all of his clear stamp sets come with digital die cuts. So I cut out the Bunny and the place for the sentiment. And I'm going to stamp in jet black archival ink. First I'm doing the Hoppy Easter. Like so. And next I'll stamp the bunny. Again, I'm going to use um, jet black archival ink. Put that on my stamp block, ink it up. And I'll stamp it down. Okay, and that's done. And now, I'm just placing things here to see where I might want them. And at first I was gonna just put it on without coloring them, but I think I'm gonna color in the bunny just to make it pop a little bit more. And to do that, I'm gonna use some picked raspberry and I think I'm gonna do the background in antique linen. And I'll grab my Tim Holtz detailer tip water brush and I'm going to Put the ink on the silicone mat here. This makes a great paint palette. And then some antique linen. And I'm gonna go ahead and color in the body first with the antique linen. And it looks like that. And then I'm going to take the picked raspberry and to lighten it up, I put it in the antique linen and just to do his belly and the inside of his ears. Okay, I think that'll do it. And now I'm gonna clean that off and we'll put this together. So what I decided, I wanted to make some borders. So I took some more strips and I'm gonna glue them to the top and the bottom. And I'm using the letter at double stick tape to do that. And I'll place it on there and trim it from the back again. I like to make it longer and trim rather than 
trim it first. This way I know it's going to be even. Cut that off there. Okay, and now I have a top folding card and I'm just going to glue that background right over top. Again, I'm using the double-sided tape here. And I love to use this tape because it's really sticky and especially since I have a heavy top to the card, I know it's going to stay put. place our last two elements and I think I'm gonna pop this up with some foam tape and I'm gonna do the sentiment as well Peel off the liner. And I'm gonna place it on top of that strip. You always wanna ground things to something else so they don't look like they're floating in space. And I'll place the Hoppy Easter right there. And there you have it, you have this cute card. And I'm gonna show you some other things that I did. So for this one, I just took the strips by themselves and I wove them and then I glued them onto the card. And this time I didn't color it in because I felt like it didn't need it. And so that's that one. And then I used my thin strips on this. I stamped some eggs and wove it like so and so I used up every strip that I made and I made three cards that were pretty quick and easy to make and a lot of fun and perfect for Easter I love the colors and so let's get one more look at what we made here today and if you'd like to make these cards there is a supply list in the box below so thank you for watching me and I'll see you next time